Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Oz. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET December 2019 and we are doing this problem 81 of your paper. So it's a problem from complex analysis and it is of part C. So have a look. Let U be an open subset of C and F says that U to C be an analytic function. Then which of the following are true? First statement says if f is 1 1 then f u is open in C. Second one says if f is on 2 then u is equal to C. Third one says if f is on 2 then f is 1 1 and fourth one says if f u is closed in C then f u is connected. So I want you to, uh, to remember a theorem for this problem not for this problem for the option 1 and using that theorem we can easily solve this alright. So let me write that theorem for you. See, this is a theorem from topology that I am stating over here. It is called invariance of domain. All right. So why we are using invariance of domain theorem? All right. Why we are not using open mapping theorem? A open mapping theorem in complex analysis is a very famous result. But why we are not using that? Because in your problem, it was not given to you that U is a domain. What is the meaning of domain? It means open and connected set. Now because f is a function from u to c and u is not open and connected and we know that in open mapping theorem, the theorem works for domain only. Alright, so if f says that d to c uh, is analytic, non-constant analytic, then it maps open set to open. But the problem is with the domain that it should be open and connected. So that is why we are getting problem and that is why we cannot directly say that f u is open. We need injectivity over there. All right. So this, uh, this, this part will be done by the invariance of domain theorem. What it says that if u is an open subset of R n, it's a topological problem and f says that u to R n is an injective continuous map then f u is open. I will not read the remaining part because it is not essential for the problem. Up to here we need this. So c in your case you have c. c is actually r square all right. c is just r square. That is why we can apply this theorem and using the invariance of domain theorem we got that image of an open set is open if f is an injective continuous map. Your function is continuous because it is analytic and uh, you are given with 1 1 in the option. That is why this option 1 is true using the invariance of domain theorem. I am again telling you that you cannot apply open mapping theorem in this case. Why? Because you don't have domain over here. It's not open connected set. Now let us try to do part B. It says if f is on 2 then u has to be c. All right. Now what I want you to know, I want you to know great lit, uh, all right, great Picard's theorem. And that theorem is very essential in this problem. All right. Otherwise you have no idea how you can solve this. All right. All right. So see this Picard's great theorem. What it tells us that if f is an analytic function in a deleted neighborhood of Z0. All right, Z0 is some point from the domain. All right, that is this set on this set, it is uh, analytic except at Z0. Z0 is a point of essential singularity of F. Then what will happen? F attains all the complex numbers except one possible exception. All right, so it means that if you have a function F, which has uh, only one essential singularity in the domain, otherwise it is analytic everywhere, then your function will attain, uh, your function will attain all the values of the complex plane except one. So I will show you an example where it happens. So see this function that we are taking, we are taking an open set around zero, right? Any open set you can take and you are taking this open set in such a way that origin lie inside it. All right. Now I am defining my function to be fz is equal to e to the power 1 by z, z belongs to this and 0 if z is equal to 0. Then what happens with this function? 
this function has essential singularity at z is equal to 0. All right, this is an exercise for you to show that z is equal to 0 is an essential singularity. I cannot explain that part here. It's your exercise to show. Now, f has essential singularity at 0. What I did at 0, I define my function like this. All right. Now, this function is analytic. All right. Also, this is an exercise for you to show f is analytic. These are the two easy things that you have to show. Your function f is analytic and it has essential singularity at zero. So according to the great Picard theorem, what will happen uh, is this, that f attains all complex number except one possible. All right. So that possible is taken care by this point at z is equal to zero. All right, z is equal to zero. This this thing is not defined. So that is the point where we, which will be uh, left while attaining all the complex number. Are you getting my point? So zero was left. So it is taking the value zero at zero. We are taking it as zero. So this means that this function will attain every value from the complex plane. Now you have chosen a random open set which consists zero. We are not defining it. So we are just taking this a neighborhood of zero. So you see, even u is not equal to c, it can happen that your function is on to, all right? So that is why your function, your problem, your statement number two is incorrect because we are getting a function which is on to, but your domain is not, uh, your, do your domain is not exactly equal to c, all right? Now let us see the third part. Third part says, if f is on to, then f is one one. All right, let us uh, let us think about this issue now. So what I will do for the third part, I will choose your function to be a constant function. So if I choose function to be constant, you know that constant function are analytic. All right, so condition of the property is already satisfied. Uh, sorry, I, I was taking, all right, there's a mistake. I cannot choose constant. Let me change it. So see what I did. All right. Uh, I was doing, uh, uh, all right, by constant thing, I was missing that it is on to, all right. So that was my mistake. So see, if we choose this function f from c to c such that f, fz is equal to z square. This function is analytic. Yes, this is analytic u is open yes c is open set that is why we can take your u to be c so what is my problem here is this that whether it is on to or not f is on to or not so it is very easy to show that f is on to all right you can take that as an exercise for you that your function is on to now see your function is on to but it is not one one why let us take one image of one is one image of minus one is also one. So that is why it's not on two, uh, not one, one, sorry. So function being on two, we are getting that it will not be one, one. So this is a counter for third option. Got it. So it is easy to show you use polar thing. All right. Use polar coordinate in order to show that it's an on two function. That's a hint for you. Now let us solve the problem number fourth. It is saying that if f u is closed in C, then f u is connected. So that's the mistake that question is doing over here because initially it was not given to you that it's a connected domain. So u is, what is u? u is an just open set. What I will do, I will choose two, two open set u1 and u2. Both are disjoint, all right? I am choosing u1 and u2 two open set, both are disjoint. All right, both are disjoint. Now what I will do, I will define my image of u1 to be some constant number c1 and f of u2 to be constant number c2. If you will check, you will get that this function is analytic function. All right, you will, you will, it's easy to check whether it is analytic or not. I'm not doing that part. So it's an analytic function because you are taking disjoint domain. All right. So both the sets are disjoint and they are open. So their union will be open. Now this function that I have chosen is actually analytic, but what is f of u? f of u 
is this set a finite set so do you think it is connected uh, it it is connected no it is not connected but because it is a finite set it is closed this is closed why because it's a finite set but it is not connected are you getting my point so there are many exercises left in this problem because they are experience based exercise if you have done many problem in the complex analysis then you easily see you can easily see this thing that it's an uh, it's an it's a function which is on to all right also this part is 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 easy to prove that is why i am not doing this right if you have still have doubt if you figure out this and you didn't get it you can always ask in the comment section so that means the fourth problem over here if f u is closed then f u is connected is also incorrect one fourth is also incorrect one because we are getting f u which is not connected so only one option for this problem is true and all other remaining options are false so if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask if uh, if whatever exercises i have given for you if you are if you fail to do them you can always comment we will hint you there what you have to do so this is how we can actually solve this problem all right so thank you